Good morning and welcome back to Let's Play Riviera the Promised Land, which is apparently my most popular LP right now. Today, we're going to hopefully get to the end of the first chapter and the... Or not the first chapter, I forgot that this is actually considered the ch second chapter. Even though chapter one was more of a prologue type thing. But yeah, this is technically chapter two, and we're going to get to the end of it, uh, probably, hopefully. And this is just being like, eh, I have to pick who I'm going to have with me. And no, I think I'll redo that. Um, uh, me, her, and her. Yeah, that'll work out just fine. Then, take my trusty weapon. Eh, actually, I don't need it right now. I'll take that instead of my trust, the usual trusty weapon, and then I'll have that, and that, and that. There we go. Alrighty. Here we go first battle of this recording session and by extension this video pretty simple one but yeah its whole purpose was to just show the whole oh you can only have three people fighting at a time and that you have to kind of pick uh, before every single freaking battle that could be kind of good too depending on like what kind of enemy formation you, you have, which characters you're going to use, but I haven't really paid any attention to that as I've gone through this game. I've done so only like once or twice, though. So it's not like... It's not like I'm a big expert on how to play this game. Oh no. Nothing like that. Uh oh. Alright, let's... Yeah, these are... Oh, this is gonna be a level 2, so I might as well... Use it! Yeah, it does a little to me, but... Oh well. I still got at least a level... 2, uh... Finisher there with a combined with a pretty good time. Um, oops. Uh, I forget the controls for this game sometimes because they're so weird. Okay, nobody can learn any abilities by having that, so it's trash. That's my reasoning. Pitch dark in here. And she makes a light. Yep, there's the torch. Oh yeah, we still have our torch. And this allows us to see this chest that we wouldn't have been able to see with the uh, darkness. Ogre Enium. Apparently, it's the uh, rock ore of uh, ogres. Oh no! That sure was difficult. Oh wait. Oh yeah, if you don't have the torch, which I didn't the first time I came through, then the, there will be like a series of progressively more difficult fireballs that you have to dodge. It basically just gives you longer and longer sequences, I think. Or is it faster and faster gauges? I don't know. Your point is... 
We have some stuff to get rid of. Um, gosh, I don't want to overuse these weapons too much right now, but we're just gonna get rid of the front row as fast as possible, and then we can make a sweep later. And by front row, I mean obviously the person who's in the front. Because all of our party members are capable of hitting uh, the entire front row. This is where other strategies would come into play, where like you should probably use Fia because she's more likely to have a... She does better against just a single enemy in the front. But if it was like two people in the front and one pe person in the back, then Lena's great because she can actually hit the one person in the back. But oh well. Point is, we got to mow them down. I think there really is a thing called, yeah, mow. But I'm actually going to use this instead. I feel like it. Uh oh. This isn't gonna be good. What is it? Dancing Saber. Wow, that sure did a lot of damage for an extremely powerful <laughs> attack. Of course, I did do some uh, training and basically get all of the possible level ups that were available. I explained that, right? Yeah, I did. Um, will this be enough? No. Perfect. Swing around! Okay, that sure worked. Okay. Aw, oh, crap. That's not gonna work either. So let's get rid of this guy. And then somebody... Okay, it's gonna be Serene that does it. Go, go, go! This guy's finished. I like that, how it has that little throne site there at the end of it. That's what it looks like. Or maybe it's just supposed to show a reaping motion, I don't know. Mage armor, I've already had one of those before, sheesh. Another chest for our troubles of getting the, uh, the, the torch, that is. I'm acquired, what did we get this time? Book of Laura. I'm not sure if I've had this item before. Okay, so... Yeah, I could, I could stand to have those two in the next battle. Unless it's a major battle, I can't remember. Nope, nobody on this area. Oh wait, this is going to be the uh, boss of the chapter, so I probably should not worry about training at the moment. Something's written on this stone. Sacred lettering. But, of course, only people from Asgard can read it. And then Ayn randomly starts reading it. And we, of course, already know that he is an angel, and naturally he would be able to 
to do things that people from there can do. Makes perfect sense. Except to the characters. I already mentioned how this is dramatic irony. Ah, I feel like I'm, I don't know. So be it. And it's time to fight an accursed. We fought an accursed before, didn't we? Um, yeah, this is good. Yeah, I'm gonna take that with me, and I'm gonna also have a guy bold, and, and probably the better quality health size at the moment. And Ignis Spear. Because it's a chapter boss, so I want to use one of these. But not just yet. For now, we're all going to use Einer Jar. Because it, it's literally impossible to hurt this thing right now, so... Might as well use something whose durability won't go away, right? Makes perfect sense. Thank you for missing. That makes this a lot easier for me. So that all I really have to do is mash the A button and wait for the uh, second half of this battle to come up in which I will actually have to do something. You aren't going to use the Diviner? No, because I don't know how, because I have amnesia just like Every other dramatic hero with some kind of past that they don't want the player knowing about, except unlike them, we do want the player knowing about it, we just don't want the character knowing about it because otherwise it wouldn't be good character development. Man, this is taking a long time. So guys, how you doing? You ever uh, play a game this cool? Fool, you will die. You would think that these guys would have a uh, some voice acting. Man, even that isn't that strong of an attack, like, relatively speaking. When you do your homework with how, uh, how many things you should hang on to and level up with, you can get situations like this. And now, suddenly, Ein suddenly is able to use his Diviner for its true purpose. And it turns gray for some reason, and can be hurt. And Ein basically has just learned a wicked awesome new... Um, well, you'll see at the end of this area. Hmm. Looks like it could do tons of damage. Let's do it. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be a cheater. Because that's just not fair. Yeah, I rewound it a couple of times. What? Okay. What the? 